This is lesson uh, 46. If you want to look at your book or if you need a copy of the lesson, just let us know and get a lesson to you. Everybody got one? Isn't that a great lesson though? To me, this is, it's lesson 46. So it's in the earlier part, earlier part of the book. And it gives you such a good basis overview for what we're talking about with forgiveness. It says, you know, this is the, this is the big thing. We think we've done something against God. There seems to be some idea that there's something that we have done that's made God mad. And of course, that's what we've kind of understood from the Bible, right? I mean, um, Adam and Eve, you know, only made because God created man, gave him life. Then, then man was kind of lonely. So he gave him woman, you know, and then woman, what she, uh, corrupted man. Wasn't that it? (laughs) Yeah. with an apple. Uh, But you know, this, this concept that we did something wrong and in this beautiful place of Eden that we were given, that something happened that caused us not to be in this experience anymore. And what the course would say is the only thing that happened was we thought we could be separate from our source. And the way that we try to understand it in our more naive way, or maybe our, I shouldn't say naive, because man evolves, right? The way we described things, you know, when the caveman described fire, ooh, ooh, you know, now we go fire, we don't go, ooh, ooh. you know, we, we do things, <laughs> we're more, we're more articulate. Uh, I'm sure even today, they would be even more articulate than, you know, tomorrow, they'll be even more articulate than we are today and how we describe and explain things. So we go back to that time, P- man tried to understand where in the world he came from. So this is this is the process of explaining it. The American Indians always tried to explain where they came from, where the earth came from. I remember some one of the fables was that the the earth was on a big turtle, right? It was not the American Indian way that the earth was on a big turtle. So we have all of these ways of explaining things. Or if you go over to the Hawaiian Islands, you know, it's always fun to hear how they explain the volcanoes, you know, what is it, Pele and and uh, all the little um uh, other gods that are out there, you know, there's just all these ways to explain things. And we don't think that that's, you know, f- we think it's cute, right? We we buy the little toys and the tinkets, the, the goddess Pele thing to bring home so we can explain this is what they used to think. And we have fun with it. You know, we don't get caught into it. We don't believe there was really a goddess Pele anymore. I mean, we just, that's just how they tried to explain it. So why don't we think that way about our creation story? It was a way to explain something. We didn't do something wrong that God, you know, abandoned us. Perhaps it was just a mistaken way of thinking. So the Course is reintroducing this into our ancient thinking that you didn't do anything wrong. You know, this is what it is, just a thought that you could be separate from God. And isn't that hell right there? Isn't that enough of a hellish thought? You don't need a place to go to. Your mind's hell enough for you, right? Yeah. So so what this is saying is, God doesn't believe any of that. We've made up our own stories. Doesn't make it true just because you made up a story. Doesn't make it true just because you believe in it. Doesn't make it true just because a lot of people believe in it. You know, you have to break the mold. It's time for us to break the mold. That's not true. God loves us. So it says God does not forgive because he never condemned you. There's no condemnation in him. And there must be condemnation before there's any need for forgiveness. So in reality, from God, there's no need for forgiveness. You've done nothing. You've done absolutely nothing. Forgiveness, though, is the great need of this world. Why is that? Because that is because it's a world of illusions, not reality, illusions. And it's constantly changing by how we feel, by what we think, by what other people say, by what's going on. Those who forgive, it says, those who are willing to see with a consciousness of It's just, you know, people make mistakes. You know, we don't, like I said, we don't think funny of the the Hawaiian natives who thought Pele. We don't think weird of the American Indians who thought the earth was on a big turtle. We just go, isn't that interesting? It's just interesting, kind of interesting. Not the truth, but kind of interesting. How about Pete Mann who thought the earth was flat and then they finally figured out it was round? We go, isn't that an interesting perspective that they had? Think how they thought. Wasn't that make it kind of an interesting thing to think how people thought at that time? It doesn't make them bad because they thought that way. We understand and we move past it. So the same thing should be true for us. We don't have to get caught up in our unforgiving thoughts. You know, that is the way we may have thought, but we can move past that. We can understand that holding on to our 
judgmental thoughts about another, about ourselves, does us no good. Provides nothing for us, but it's a knee-jerk reaction. We always go back to it. I'm mad at you. I'm angry at you. You did this to me, so I'm mad. It does nothing for us but keep us locked into a world of hate. And what does this even say? Not only hate and judgment and anger and fear and depression and all the stuff that your body produces when you get stressed and angry. What does it produce? It produces cortisol. They say that's a terrible, uh, um, I don't know what's it, it's a thing in your body. What is it? A home hormone? Yeah, they, it's, it produces terrible stuff in your body. It's very dangerous for your body. And we, and we do it a lot. The moment we get angry, we produce these things. The moment we get stressed, we produce these things. And then we wonder why we don't feel good. We wonder why we're sick all the time. We wonder why we're, we're a, a society that has this disease and that disease. And, you know, we don't, we don't do the things that keep us healthy. And really what the Course would say is the most healthy thing we can do is forgive. Now, why is that? Because it breaks the chain of illusions and moves us to the place of truth. And it seems like most of us who are studying A Course in Miracles would want to experience peace and the healing that that produces. So we should begin at this point to make every effort possible to look with forgiving eyes and eyes that see extensions of love or calls for love. 